Hey everybody, let's look at metric unit conversions. We have two things, uh, some conversions, and we have another type of problem we'll do in just a second here. And uh, let's start with this though. And the method has always been, if you've done Saxon for years, the method never changes. It's always the same method. You write what you are given immediately with, uh, you know, as a fraction, then immediately without, without even thinking, you write a new fraction, and then, then you uh, have the, uh, the unit that you have in the top of the first fraction on the bottom of the other fraction so it cancels out. Um, don't be, don't be tempted to just go, oh, I'm going to just, uh, you know, I know I just divide by a hundred or whatever, because eventually these things get to be pretty complicated. And we do ones, I believe that have up to 21 fraction multiplications. So you're not going to be able to in your head or, oh, I think I know the answer to convert, you know, 86, uh, cubic miles to, uh, you know, cubic milliliters or whatever. It's not going to happen. So anyway, do the method, just keep doing the method, method, method. Then you got it. Okay. So again, let's take a look. We write what we're given without even thinking. Convert seven five six zero centimeters to kilometers. Okay. Well, we just write it. Seven five six zero centimeters. If you want to write this over one, that's fine. Without thinking, we put a centimeters here and we talk about kilometers. Okay. Well, centimeters we know meters, so that's going to be one meter is the same thing as a hundred centimeters. Now we can cross out the centimeters and we've got uh, meters. Don't want meters. We want kilometers. So we've got to put meters on the bottom so that cancels out. So how many meters in a kilometer? A thousand meters in a kilometer. So meters go away. And we can just multiply across 7560. At the bottom, you can, if you just want to put a hundred. You know what? A hundred thousand, if you want to, but you can do it like this. I think some of your answers in your book are are, are like this. They might actually go ahead and um, do the division, so you'll have a decimal. But this is good enough for right now. But you can, if you want to do the division, you feel free to do that. All right, let's take another one. Uh, that is a lot of square cent <laughs> square centimeters. Convert that to square kilometers. By the way, can you visualize a square centimeter? I mean, it's like a you know, it's like this big, a square kilometer. I mean, good gravy. It's like six tenths of a mile one way and then that way. I mean, how many of those, uh, I mean, that many, how many square kilometers do you have? It just isn't something you're going to be able to do uh, in your head. So let's actually do the, you know, the setup. 15, 7, 4, 0, 0, 0, 0 square centimeters. You can just write it like that if you want. Since you have two units, that's a square. You're going to have to have two fractions to cancel. So this is where you go centimeters once and then centimeters twice. Okay. So now we're going centimeters to kilometers. We need to go to meters first. Okay. So a hundred centimeters and one meter, hundred centimeters and one meter. So we have, that's the centimeter squared. There's your centimeter squared. Now we have a meter times a meter. That's a square meter. So we don't want that. We want square kilometers. So we're going to have to do twice again meters and then meters and then of course the conversion is a thousand meters is one kilometer a thousand meters is one kilometer okay so meter 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 and uh you know again you don't have to do all this jazz as far as like doing all the arithmetic if you want to you can just go 15 740 000, 000, 000 times ones all the way across okay we have that's kilometers squared then we have a hundred squared and we have a thousand squared so um leave, you can leave it like that if you want to that's plenty okay all right let's do a different type and the, uh, actually sorry one more one more of these um 32 yards to meters this is where it gets really weird because we are going with you know inches the english english units um oh there it is right there english units now we're going to metric units or evil units as the as they are they're not they're not evil the french by the way in the french revolution i think they invented or kind of popularized these things they tried to do a 10 like you know, everything was tens they also tried to do by the way a 10 day work week where you had rest one day every, every 10 days it didn't fly people could just could not get used to it so they had to drop that but anyhow okay um well, let's do it. Again, write what you're given, 32 yards. Okay, so 32 and a YD, we'll call it. Okay, if you want to do a fraction, you can do that. All right, well, we're gonna to have to go to meters. Yeesh. Okay, well, let's try, 
you know, if you know inches, let's do that. Let's go one yard is how many inches? Three feet, right? So it's 36 inches. All right, good enough. Eek, eek, gone. All right, now inches are not what we want. We want meters. So we, you don't even have to think about this. You just know you have to get rid of inches, right? Okay, well, inches, how are we going to do inches to meters? Okay, if you remember one inch is 2.54 centimeters, right? <clears throat> That's good enough. That's a good conversion. Bam, bam. Now we're at centimeters. Now we need meters. No thinking. Just write centimeters on the bottom, okay? So 100 centimeters is one meter. So oop, there we go. And uh, there she blows. So um, I believe that should do it. Okay. 32 yards is that. 36 inches is one yard. 2.54 centimeters is one inch. And one meter is 100 centimeters, so there we go. Okay, and think of, can you visualize 32 yards? It's almost like 100 feet long, right? Okay, a meter is about a yard, you know? So if you, you were actually to take this and go 32 times 36 times 2.54, that's what we have on top, right? And then over 100, okay? And it should be roughly, you know, Roughly, you know, a little less than 32 yards, actually. So um, let's do this. So 32 times 36, oops, 6, times 2.54, okay, divided by 100, boom, 29. So 32 yards is about 29.3 meters. Eh, sensible. That's a good answer. You don't have to do that work because they'll have the answer probably in the back of the book that looks like that, although they might not. So make sure to do it. Uh, if you see it happening over and over, go ahead and just do the arithmetic, or at least do it on a calculator. Okay, let's try one more. Convert that many square kilometers to square miles. Boof. Okay. Well, again, let's write what we're given, and don't forget this is a square, square kilometer. So we have 0 0.042 kilometers squared. Oh, this is going to be a doozy. But just logically follow it along and you'll, you'll get it. Okay. So without even thinking, you know you're going to have to have a kilometer and a kilometer down here, right? Okay. We'll eventually figure out how to get this thing to miles. This is about the biggest doozy kind you're going to have the entire year. Okay. Let's go kilometers. We know it's going to be meters, right? So a thousand meters. And in a thousand meters. All right, so that's gone, that's gone. Now we have square meters. I want no square meters, okay? So without even thinking, let's just put meters at the bottom, right? Okay. So well, we can go to centimeters, right? Meters and centimeters. A meter is a hundred centimeters. So a meter is a hundred centimeters. Oh boy, this is going to be wonderful. Look at that. Now we're at square centimeters. Don't want square centimeters. We want miles. I can see a second line in our future here. All right. So, so uh, centimeters. So we're going to have to have, you know, two instances of centimeters at the bottom. Well, we, we can do, we know 2.54 centimeters is an inch, right? So two centimeters, bam, bam. And now we have square inches. Don't want square inches, want square miles. Oh dear, let's start another line here. Okay, so we're gonna multiply again. We got inches on top, so we need two, two examples of inches on the bottom. So we got 12 inches is a foot, 12 inches is a foot. And then it's crossy crossy. And then we got two examples of feet. And then we need, okay, we need feet to miles. Well, let's knock that out. Feet on the bottom without even thinking, one mile. One mile, okay, 5,280 feet, 5,280 feet, uh, a mile, good gracious sakes alive. No, we want miles, we shouldn't be crossing that out. Okay, feet, feet, and then feet, feet, and then, good gracious, 0 0.042 times 1,000 squared times 100 squared. Uh, that's all there is on top except for ones, okay, over. 2.54 squared over 12 squared 
over 5,280 squared. Gee whiz. Okay, and that's square miles. Okay, that ought to be a, really, a lot of fun to run through your calculator. Anyway, okay. That's just about the worst you're going to see on these types going from English to metric. So just, again, write what you're given and just keep going until you can't go anymore. Okay. All right, let's move on to uh, our chemistry problems here, which are really not chemistry problems. They just look that way because there's all these elements on there. Um, but they are just basically, they're just uh, ratio problems is all they are. So um, let's look at this example. And you'll, this is a real straightforward and simple kind of problems. So sodium has an atomic weight of 23. Sulfur has an atomic weight of 32. Oxygen has an atomic weight of 16. Okay, so here's a molecule. It's got, we got sodium, we got sulfur, we got oxygen. What percentage by weight is the sodium? So all this is, when you look at this, there's some chemical compound, right? It looks like, uh, I have no idea what that is. It might clean your teeth or maybe explode a building. I can't quite tell. Anyway, um, so if you, all this is, let's say you get three kids. One's named Nelly. No. We got, uh, I don't know. One's named Nelly, and they've cloned her, and there are two of them. And one's named, I don't know, Steve, and there are two of those as well. And one's Oscar, and there are three of those, okay? Well, we know the Nellies weigh 23, the Steves weigh 32, the Oxygens, or the, the Oscars, excuse me, weigh 16. All you do is, okay, you go, all right, well, how much does a whole shebang of them, how much, do, how much does the, they're all standing on a giant scale, how much do they weigh all together? I guess these are little kids, right? 23 pounds, that's pretty skinny. Anyway, um, and then you go, okay, well, what percent of the whole weight are, they're wanting to know the Nellies or the sodium, the Na, and that's all you do. So in other words, you're sitting there going, okay, there are two of them, that way that's 23 each, that'll be 46 total their weight is. There's two of these uh, sulfurs or steves, so that's gonna be 32 times two, that's 64. The O's, the Oscars, there's three of them, 16 pounds a piece, that's 48, right? So we got uh, 18 here, that's 158, okay. All right, what percent by weight is the sodium? Well, which one is the sodium? That one. So all you need to do is go, okay, 46 divided by 158. That's it. So 46 divided by 158, point, 29.1%. And there you go. Piece of cake. So, all right. Let's do uh, two, three, uh, two practice problems and uh, go ahead and pause it and we'll do them together here in a second. All right, well, what percent of carbon tetrachloride weight is carbon? So again, your carbon's going to be 12. Now, if there's no number there, you know that's a 1, right? Okay, so there, this, the weight of this total is 1 times 12, which is 12. That's the weight of that. The weight of the chlorine uh, is going to be, there's going to be 4 of them. That's an L, not an I. Uh, that's uh, going to be four of those times 35, which is 140. Okay, the total weight of this thing is 152. They're asking what the percent by weight is of the carbon. Well, we know the carbon is 12, right? There's only one. Okay, so 12 divided by 152 is 0 0.0789. So that's what? 7.9% is your answer. Not very much at all. Okay, pause it and try B, and we'll come together here. All right, B is another doozy here. So square kilometers, you can start off at the very beginning if you want to, kilometers squared, and write it like this. You can, we'll skip the bottom of the fraction this time, but you know there's gonna be a kilometer, you know there's gonna be another one. Okay, so let's do that. At least we know a thousand meters is the kilometer, 1,000 meters, kilometer. Okay, so cross, cross, gone. Now we have a meter times meter squared, now, square meters. Don't even think about it. You got meters at the bottom. You know what's, you gotta get rid of them. So a meter, what, 100 centimeters? Cross, cross, bam, bam. Now we have square centimeters. Don't want them. 
want miles. I'm gonna have to go, we need to go inches to feet to miles. So an inch is 2.54. And we have two examples of centimeters going away again. Now we have square inches. Don't want square inches. Go to the next line. Inches on the bottom. Inches on the bottom. 12 inches is a foot. 12 inches is a foot. I have to put one if I don't want to. Inches, 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 inches. Now we got square feet. Don't want that. 5280 feet. That's one mile. 5280 feet is one mile. All the feet go away. Now we have this gigantor bunch of stuff, which you do need to at least copy this down so you can compare it to what they have in the book. But you can save yourself some time by just writing squared on some of these. So 100 squared and then all ones across the top. Okay, good. And then we have 2.54 squared, 12 squared, 52.80 squared and it's going to be miles times miles square miles and that is your answer okay i seriously doubt they're going to have you actually do all this arithmetic on this one so anyway okay okay thanks guys have a great day